a little bit like selling a car with faulty brakes and then buying an insurance policy on the buyer of those cars. Every I'm talking about betting against of an security. asset here is an institution, okay. probably professional only investors dedicated in most cases to this business. Representing pension funds who have the life savings of police officers. These teachers. are the professional investors who want this exposure. But that was immediately contradicted by evidence unwittingly provided by a young Goldman trader named Fabrice Tour. A U.S. Senate committee discovered emails in which Mr. Tour had bragged that he was selling to unsophisticated investors, or as he called them, widows and orphans that I ran into at the airport. Goldman Sachs has claimed that it had no idea that the U.S. housing market was destined to collapse. But way back in January 2007, Fab Tour wrote, The whole building is about to collapse any time now. Only potential survivor, the fabulous Fab, standing in the middle of these complex, highly leveraged, exotic trades he created. Fabrice Tour and Goldman Sachs were charged with fraud by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. I deny categorically the SEC's allegations. And I will defend myself in court against this false claim. Got it, 105? Yes, Mr. Turner. Senate Investigations Committee Chairman Carl Levin went after Tour's superiors at Goldman Sachs, reading other emails which indicated they knew they were selling faulty products to their own clients. June 22 is the date of this email. Boy, that Timberwolf was one shitty deal. How much of that shitty deal did you sell to your clients after June 22, 2007? Mr. Chairman, I, I don't know the answer to that, but the <laughs> price would have reflected levels that they 